in the late 19th century, nestled on Miasnitskaya Street, where the tea house now stands, lived the reclusive Kasavnikovs. Wealthy but miserly to the core, they were known for their frugality that bordered on obsession. They lived a life of seclusion, rarely venturing outside their home, for fear of parting with even a single kopeck unnecessarily. As time wore on, their fear of spending money grew into a paranoia of thieves. Every creak of the floorboards, every rustle of the wind outside, sent shivers down their spines. Their nights became consumed by dread, imagining shadowy figures lurking in the darkness, poised to steal their precious possessions. To safeguard their fortune, the elderly couple took to carrying their entire wealth with them in a small casket wherever they went. It became their constant companion, a tangible symbol of their fear and greed intertwined. Despite their reclusive nature, they found solace in one activity, nightly rides around Moscow, always with the cherished box in tow. It was a ritual born out of necessity, a desperate attempt to cling to some semblance of normalcy in the face of their overwhelming paranoia. But as the nights grew longer and the shadows deeper, whispers began to spread among the townsfolk. Tales of a ghostly carriage, gliding silently through the streets of Moscow, its occupants obscured by darkness. Some claimed to have seen the spectral form of the Kasavnikovs, their faces twisted in fear, clutching tightly to their precious casket. Rumors swirled of encounters with the ghostly carriage, tales of eerie apparitions that vanished into the night without a trace. Superstition gripped the city, and whispers of the Kasavnikovs' curse spread like wildfire. Yet, amidst the fear and uncertainty, one question lingered. What had driven the Kasavnikovs to such extreme measures? What secrets lay hidden within the walls of their secluded mansion, and what horrors awaited those who dared to uncover them? As the mystery deepened, brave souls ventured forth in search of answers, drawn by the allure of untold riches and the promise of forbidden knowledge. But little did they know, the shadows that lurked in the darkness held more than just the secrets of the Kasavnikovs' past. They held something far more sinister, something that hungered for souls lost to greed and fear. And so, the tale of the Kasavnikovs and their haunted legacy continued to echo through the streets of Moscow, a chilling reminder of the dangers that lurked in the shadows, waiting to ensnare the unwary and the unwise. As the whispers of the Kasavnikovs' cursed legacy echoed through the streets of Moscow, a group of intrepid adventurers sought to unravel the mysteries shrouding the reclusive couple and their spectral carriage. Among them was Dmitry Ivanov, a seasoned investigator with a penchant for the occult, and his trusted companions, Anna Petrova, a fearless journalist, and Mikhail Voronin, a seasoned soldier with nerves of steel. Driven by a thirst for adventure and the promise of untold riches, the trio embarked on a perilous journey to uncover the truth behind the Kasavnikovs' haunting. Armed with little more than their wits and a handful of cryptic clues, they delved into the heart of darkness that gripped Miasnitskaya Street. Their investigation led them to the dilapidated mansion where the Kasavnikovs had once dwelled, its crumbling facade a testament to the passage of time. With each step they took, the air grew heavy with the weight of centuries-old secrets, and the shadows seemed to dance with malevolent intent. Inside, they found evidence of the Kasavnikovs' paranoia writ large upon the walls. Intricate locks and traps designed to ward off intruders, and hidden chambers filled with hoarded treasures that glimmered in the dim light. But it was in the depths of the mansion's cellar that they unearthed the true horror that lay dormant beneath the surface. Amidst the cobwebs and decay, they discovered an ancient ritual chamber, its walls adorned with symbols of unspeakable power. As they ventured deeper into the darkness, they stumbled upon a cryptic tome, its pages filled with arcane incantations and forbidden knowledge. With trembling hands, Dmitri began to decipher the text, unlocking the secrets of the Kasavnikov's dark pact with forces beyond comprehension. But before he could unravel the final mystery, a chill wind swept through the chamber, extinguishing their lanterns and plunging them into darkness. And from the shadows emerged a presence, its form shifting and indistinct, yet unmistakably malevolent. With a whispered curse, the entity unleashed its wrath upon the intruders, ensnaring them in its icy grasp. As they struggled against the darkness, they realized too late the folly of their quest and the true nature of the Kasavnikov's curse. For in their greed and folly, they had awoken something ancient and terrible, a force beyond mortal comprehension that hungered for their souls. And as the echoes of their screams faded into the abyss, 
The shadows of the Kasavnikov's haunted legacy stretched ever onward, waiting to claim the unwary and the unwise once more. In the wake of the harrowing events that befell Dmitry Ivanov, Anna Petrova, and Mikhail Voronin within the depths of the Kasavnikov's mansion, whispers of their disappearance spread through the streets of Moscow like wildfire. Some dismissed their fate as a cautionary tale, a warning against meddling in affairs best left untouched. Others, however, were drawn to the mystery like moths to a flame, driven by a morbid curiosity to uncover the truth behind the vanished adventurers. Among those intrigued by the tale was Natalia Romanova, a brilliant scholar of the occult with a reputation for fearlessness that matched her insatiable thirst for knowledge. Determined to unravel the secrets of the Kasavnikov's curse where others had failed, she embarked on a perilous journey into the heart of darkness that gripped Myosnitskaya Street. Armed with ancient tomes and arcade artifacts gleaned from her years of study, Natalia delved into the shadows that lingered within the crumbling mansion, each step a testament to her unyielding resolve. But as she ventured deeper into the labyrinth and depths of the occult, she soon realized that the true nature of the Kasavnikov's curse was far more insidious than she had ever imagined. For within the bowels of the mansion, Natalia uncovered a dark covenant forged in blood and bound by unspeakable horrors. The Kasavnikovs, driven by their insatiable greed and paralyzing fear, had struck a deal with forces beyond mortal comprehension, trading their souls for immortality and untold wealth. As she pieced together the fragments of the ancient ritual that bound the Kasavnikovs to their cursed existence, Natalia found herself ensnared in a web of deceit and betrayal that spanned centuries. Shadows stirred in the darkness, whispering of forgotten gods and vengeful spirits thirsting for retribution. But Natalia pressed on, driven by a determination to unravel the mystery that had claimed the lives of so many before her. With each discovery, she drew closer to the heart of the Kasavnikov's curse, her resolve unshaken by the horrors that lurked in the shadows. Yet, as she delved deeper into the darkness, Natalia began to sense a presence watching her every move, a malevolent force that hungered for her soul. And as she uncovered the final piece of the puzzle, she realized with a sinking dread that the true horror of the Kasavnikov's curse had yet to reveal itself. For in her quest for knowledge, Natalia had unwittingly awakened something ancient and terrible, a primordial evil that had lain dormant for centuries. And as the shadows closed in around her, she knew that her fate was sealed, bound to the same cursed legacy that had claimed the lives of all who had dared to uncover its secrets. As Natalia Romanova delved deeper into the mysteries of the Kasavnikov's curse, she uncovered a tangled web of dark magic and forbidden knowledge that stretched back centuries. Every step she took revealed new horrors lurking in the shadows, and with each discovery, the malevolent force that haunted the mansion grew stronger. But Natalia refused to be deterred. Driven by a thirst for understanding and a desire to unravel the truth, she pressed on, determined to break the curse that had ensnared the Kasavnikovs and claimed the lives of so many others. As she delved deeper into the labyrinth and depths of the occult, Natalia unearthed ancient texts and arcade artifacts that shed light on the true nature of the curse. She learned of the pact the Kasavnikovs had made with a dark entity in exchange for wealth and immortality, and she uncovered the rituals they had performed to bind themselves to its will. Armed with this knowledge, Natalia sought out the source of the curse, determined to confront the entity that held sway over the mansion and free herself from its grasp. But with each passing moment, the malevolent force grew stronger, its presence looming ever larger in the shadows that surrounded her. As she neared the heart of the darkness that gripped Myosnitskaya Street, Natalia felt the weight of centuries bearing down upon her. The very air seemed to pulse with ancient power, and the walls of the mansion groaned with the echoes of forgotten voices. But Natalia pressed on, her resolve unshaken by the horrors that lay ahead. With a steady hand and a determined heart, she performed the final ritual that would break the curse once and for all. As the last incantation left her lips, the mansion shook with a deafening roar, and the shadows that had haunted its halls recoiled in terror. In a blinding flash of light, the malevolent force that had held sway over Myasnitskaya Street for centuries was banished from this world, its power broken by Natalia's courage and determination. As the dust settled and the echoes of the curse faded into the ether, Natalia emerged from the mansion weary but triumphant. The Kasavnikov's curse had been lifted, and the shadows that had plagued Moscow for so long were no more. 
But as she walked away from the mansion, Natalia knew that her work was far from over. For in the darkness that lingered on the edges of the city, other horrors waited, hungry for souls to claim as their own. And as long as there were mysteries to unravel and darkness to confront, Natalia Romanova would be there, a beacon of light in a world haunted by shadows. With the lifting of the Kasavnikov's curse, Natalia Romanova believed she had brought an end to the malevolent forces that had plagued Miosnitskaya Street for generations. Yet, as she ventured back into the heart of Moscow, she couldn't shake the feeling that something lingered in the shadows, something darker and more sinister than anything she had encountered before. As days turned into weeks and weeks into months, Natalia's unease only grew. Strange occurrences plagued the city, whispers of ghostly apparitions and mysterious disappearances spreading like wildfire. It seemed that while the Kasavnikov's curse had been vanquished, a new evil had risen to take its place. Determined to uncover the truth behind these unsettling events, Natalia delved deeper into the occult than ever before. She scoured ancient texts and consulted with scholars and mystics from across the land, searching for clues to the source of the malevolent forces that now stalked the streets of Moscow. Her investigations led her to the forgotten corners of the city, where she uncovered evidence of a dark conspiracy that had been lurking in the shadows for centuries. The Kasavnikovs, it seemed, were merely pawns in a much larger game, their curse but one piece of a sinister puzzle that threatened to consume the entire city in darkness. As Natalia pieced together the fragments of this ancient conspiracy, she realized that she was not alone in her quest. Others, drawn by whispers of power and forbidden knowledge, had also sought to uncover the truth behind the mysteries of Miasnitskaya Street. Among them was Viktor Ivanov, a rival occultist whose thirst for power knew no bounds. With each step Natalia took towards unraveling the truth, Viktor was hot on her trail, his own dark ambitions driving him ever closer to the heart of the conspiracy. As tensions rose between the two rivals, the fate of Moscow hung in the balance. For unbeknownst to them, the true source of the city's darkness lay hidden in plain sight, waiting to be unleashed upon an unsuspecting world. And as Natalia and Victor raced towards their inevitable confrontation, they would soon discover that the shadows that haunted Miasnitskaya Street were but a prelude to a darkness far greater than they could have ever imagined. In the final confrontation between Natalia Romanova and Victor Ivanov, the true extent of the darkness that had consumed Miasnitskaya Street was revealed. As they clashed amidst the crumbling ruins of the Kasavnikov's mansion, the malevolent forces that had lurked in the shadows for centuries surged forth, unleashing a wave of chaos and destruction upon the city. In their desperation to claim victory, Natalia and Victor unwittingly unleashed an ancient evil that had lain dormant beneath the streets of Moscow for eons. With a deafening roar, the earth trembled and the skies darkened as the true mastermind behind the conspiracy emerged from the depths of the abyss. A being of unimaginable power and malevolence, the ancient entity swept across the city like a tidal wave, its tendrils of darkness consuming everything in their path. Natalia and Victor stood helpless before the overwhelming force, their rivalry forgotten in the face of the impending apocalypse. As the darkness closed in around them, Natalia realized with a heavy heart that their quest for knowledge and power had brought nothing but ruin to those they sought to protect. In their arrogance, they had unleashed a force beyond their control and now Moscow would pay the price for their folly. With a heavy heart, Natalia faced the inevitable truth. They had failed to save the city from the darkness that had consumed it. As the shadows closed in around her, she whispered a final prayer for forgiveness, knowing that her actions had doomed not only herself but all of Moscow to a fate worse than death. And as the darkness swallowed her whole, Natalia Romanova knew that her story would be remembered not as a tale of heroism and triumph, but as a cautionary tale of the dangers of meddling in forces beyond mortal comprehension. And in the end, the shadows that had haunted Miasnitskaya Street would reign supreme, their dark legacy stretching far beyond the boundaries of time and space.